2023 will be the last model year for anything built with the Hemi engine. With the last model on the horizon, most automakers would introduce the world to a lone special edition vehicle, something cosmetic to usher out the vehicle in a whisper, but not Dodge. When the Hemi makes its final appearance, it's leaving rubber all over the parking lot. Dodge is calling it the last call and making sure that no one, and I mean no one, forgets the name Hemi. While they could have given us a special edition commemorative car, they're giving us seven, getting wilder as we go. Well, Dodge has just revealed their seventh and final last call edition, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 170. And boy, is it ever a last call. While you may think that this is merely an updated 2018 Demon, I'm here to tell you that it's very much not that. This new Demon 170 has been revamped, reimagined, and reborn anew. Let's take a deeper look. The Demon 170 is the ultimate Dodge Challenger, the fastest, most menacing muscle car built for the streets ever. It's designed to run its best on E85. E85 is a gasoline and alcohol mix that compared to the strongest liquor would be 170 proof, hence the name 170. The heart of the Demon 170 is, of course, the engine. Starting with the Demon engine block, the new 6.2 liter engine is treated to upgraded pistons, rods, crankshaft, and a fluid damper. The cylinder heads feature nitride coated intake valves and upgraded guides and seats to work with ethanol. These heads are also specially machined to be secured onto the newly yellow painted short block with studs instead of bolts for added strength. The forged steel crankshaft is secured in place with billet steel main caps and aerospace quality fasteners. The only part that truly carries over from the old Demon to the Demon 170 is the camshaft. To feed this beast, the 2.7 liter blower was replaced with a 3 liter blower that sat atop the Helifant crate engine, modified to feed the Demon 170. This includes a larger snout, a larger 105 millimeter throttle body, and a 3.02 inch diameter pulley all working together to produce a maximum boost of 21.3 PSI with the black paint to differentiate it from your standard Demon blower. Fuel is delivered to the engine via high flow fuel rails that feed fuel injectors capable of 164 gallons per hour. On pump gas, the Demon 170 already outpowers any Challenger super stock or jailbreak at 900 horsepower and 810 pound feet of torque and grinds out a stunning 1,025 horses and 945 pound feet of torque running E85. Power is fed through a Torque Flight 8 HP 990 8-speed automatic specifically modified to accommodate the larger diameter and stronger prop shaft. The rear axle housing is 53% stronger thanks to the new hot isostatic pressing process to eliminate porosity in the castings. The rear half shafts have been beefed up to 43 splines and have been made larger all the way around. The trans brake that came on the original 2018 Demon has been revamped with patent pending updates that allow the driver to dial in the right amount of torque for specific track conditions. The suspension uses softer springs and shocks and puts the power to the ground via 17 by 11 forged aluminum wheels wrapped in a pair of meaty 315 50R17 Mickey Thompson ET Street R drag radials with optional carbon fiber wheels. The narrower 18 by 8 inch front wheels utilize the Mickey Thompson ET Streets, measuring 245-55R18. Instead of using wide body fender flares all the way around, Dodge decided to go with standard front fenders with wide body flares in the rear. The front of the Demon 170 is dominated by the massive air grabber hood that looks like the original Demon hood until you see the laser etched alcohol injected logo. Each front fender is adorned with a new Demon badge with a 170 neck tattoo and yellow eyes. The Demon 170 comes standard with one driver's seat with the option of a full interior. There's also a drag chute available through direct connection. The entire package was made to rip up the quarter mile, which is an understatement. When the light turns green, 
the driver is pulled back into the seat with more than two G's realized. 60 miles an hour comes up in a mere 1.66 seconds. The quarter mile is finished in 8.91 seconds at over 151 miles an hour. And as before, the Demon 170 can lift the wheels at launch, but it carries them a lot higher and farther. Look for the Demon 170 to hit showrooms in July of 2023. This marks the end of the line for the Chrysler Hemi engine. What better way to leave than on top? The Demon 170 represents the pinnacle of what the factory can legally produce for the streets. While there are still fast cars out there, the Demon 170 is brutally fast. If you ask me, the muscle car wars are over and Dodge has won. They're exiting the game in the Demon 170 and it's leaving at the top of the game. The winner. The alpha dog, the fastest in the world, the greatest of all time. All that in a three year, 30,000 mile warranty. Car enthusiasts, don't lose hope. We'll get through this. Just like we got through the 70s with no oil, the 80s with no horsepower, and OBD2. We have witnessed the end of the greatest muscle car era ever. There will never ever be a time like this to come our way again. So thank you Dodge Challenger for bringing the excitement, the innovation, and most of all, the horsepower. You will be sorely missed.